Flipping over to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Saints of God, I just want to, if you'll allow me to, just for a little while, I just want to talk on the great falling away. Yeah. You can go ahead and be seated. Father, we thank you now. Yes. We thank you for another chance to be in your house. We thank you, God, Jesus, for your presence that you allow God to come in the midst of us today. We thank you for your glory. And now, God, as we come before you, God, to share with your people something, God. We ask God, Jesus, we pray, God, that the spirit of repentance will touch each heart. God, we pray that the spirit of change will enter the room right now. God, surround us, God. Bring every, each and every heart. Drive us to the altar, God. Drive us to a place of repentance. A place, God, where we will want to be new. And this will be great. In Jesus' name, the house said amen. amen. Saints of God, I want to go do something a little different on today. I plan not to be long. Amen. It's not going to be no uh, feel-good message today. Amen. It's not going to be no, I, you know, I don't think you're going to shout on this one. Any, anything, you might, anything you might want me to sit down. Amen. But I want to share something with you, saints of God. Uh, beginning of the year, uh, it was the, that Monday after New Year's. I was I was uh, laying in the bed. I was asleep, and the Lord gave me a dream. And in the dream, I saw myself in this tall building. This building was so tall; it was gigantic. And it was immaculate. It was beautiful. I'm talking about fancy. It was so fancy. And in the dream, there was a bunch of people in there along with me. It was full of, full of people. And, and everyone, we were all dressed like we was coming to church. We were dressed. We had our Sunday best on. We was dressed like we was coming to church. And for some reason, I knew that we were all church folk. Somehow I knew that we were all uh, confessing believers, confessing Christians. And, and, and in, the, in the dream, I also knew that we were all there for the same reason. We were all there for the same reason. And it was like we had all gotten there early. And, and we was there waiting on an event to happen, an event to take place. And while we were waiting, I saw some mingling and talking. You know how you do. You just fellowshipping and, 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 and just conversing. Some was talking on the cell phone. Some texting. And even some children. Even some young folk. We were all there just walking around, just waiting on the event to take place. And while we were waiting, an earthquake happened. And when the earthquake happened, the building began to break apart. The, begin, the building began to sway and rock. And it began to just crumble. Uh, the building began to shake and rattle. And then and it began to just lean over to the side. And as it began to lean over, it leaned over so far that the flow, you know how the flow be flat and horizontal. Well, the flow was diagonal out of slope, catacomb. And then folk began to slide. They began to slide and fall out the window. Break through the window and begin to fall. And I can see them now in my mind. Just falling, falling, sliding, falling. And it looked like they tried to try to claw the flow, trying to get themselves to stop sliding so they wouldn't fall out the window. And every now and then they try some would try to catch. While they're falling, they try to reach over and grab something, hope that they might stop themselves from falling. Some was able to catch on and hold. Some was able to they were they were they were swing, trying to catch but miss. Some would catch or grab it but couldn't hold on. Others would catch and hold for a little while. Only to be shaken off by the hurricane. I mean, by the by the earthquake. And, and then I begin to see them fall and fall and fall. And then all of a sudden it stopped. Jesus. And when it stopped, the building was left in shadows. 
And those of us that have survived, we were looking around in terror, looking around at each other, scared to death. Some I saw, I remember seeing some of them shaking like a leaf. And we weren't talking to each other, but we just like, it's funny because it's like I could read the people's mind, and I'm sure they probably could read mine. And it's like I would look at one, and it was like they would ask me, what happened? We were all trying to figure out what happened. Now, they didn't talk now, but it's like I could read their mind. It's like, I just knew what they was thinking. I was thinking the same thing. What just happened? And we were all trying to catch our breath. We were all we were trying to get ourselves together. And, 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 and then eventually, uh, an announcement was made on the intercom. Now, this building was so tall and shambles, it's amazing that the intercom still worked. Uh -huh. And an announcement was made on the intercom. Uh -huh. And it said, it came with a powerful voice. And it said, and there should be a great falling away. Hey, oh yeah. And the only way to make it That's is you've got to tie on to something and wrap yourself around it. Uh -huh. And when the intercom, when the announcement went off, I looked and I saw this pole. And the pole was it was it wasn't even touched. I mean it was still strong and sturdy and it didn't even look like nothing had happened to it. It was the only thing in the building that wasn't affected by the earthquake. It was still shiny and brand new and fancy. With all the fancy fixtures it was strong and, and sturdy. It just uh, and something spoke to my mind and it had to be the Lord say, get to that pole. Jesus. And I somehow somehow I maneuvered my way over to the pole and I clutched on to it. And when I clutched on to it it spoke to my mind again and said, take your belt and tie around the pole. Right. And so when I reached for my belt, all of a sudden it was long and big. And I took it and looped it around the pole. Looped it around the pole and then I tied it in tight as I could. And when I got it tight as I could, I put my legs around it and I put both arms around it. And I, when I got good hold, right when I got a good hold, the earthquake started again. Uh -huh. Mofo starts falling out. Sliding and falling, sliding and falling, trying to catch on and fall, catch on and fall. And my God, it was so terrifying. Say, I'm not doing it justice. I'm just doing the best I can. It was such a scary, a traumatic experience. And then when they fell, they were screaming, yelling, I can hear them falling. As they as they fell, they were screaming and hollering, screaming and hollering. Looked like they were falling forever. Looked like they was falling forever. Hear them scream and holler. So I, 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 the dream became so traumatic, I just somehow forced myself up and popped my eyes up. And so I'm laying in the bed and it looked like my heart is about to leap out my chest. I'm trying to gather myself. So I go to the restroom. And when I get in the restroom, I heard the spirit say, and there should be a great falling away. The only way to survive is you got to be wrapped up, tied up in Jesus. Amen. And so I went back and laid down. Hallelujah. 